So who has replaced uh, these two uh, to-dos? Raise your hand. OK, not the majority. All right, so I, I, I'll give you a very little help. And so, so you can get started and, and then uh, move on. So we are, we are working with uh, piano numbers. And on the top, uh, we have a, a, a little definition on how piano numbers uh, work. We have a zero, and we have successor of M. And if you replace Z by none and successor by option, you see that you get exactly the same structure, right? So maybe our uh, piano number type is in fact only option of A. Oops, sorry. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah? All right. And of course, have we said, uh, once, once we represent things like that with a functor, we lose the ability to talk about all these things uh, with a single type. So if we want a single type, we need a fixed point, and therefore this is fix of piano number f. <coughs> all right? Uh, sh should we proceed to... A fix come uh, from uh, Matryoshka. It's in uh, matryoshka.data.fix. Uh, uh, Matryoshka is the library we will be using to, uh, to it's the implementation of recursion schemes in, in Scala. Could we go over that a little bit maybe? So, uh, No, we, we are there to learn how to use it. Okay. Right? Okay. It's just magic? Could we just type fix and magic happens and we're yeah. ready to go? Yeah. Did, did, did you saw the slides? <laughs> Say what? Did you, did you see the, the, the slides? It's in the slides. It's, a, it's in the slides, actually. <laughs> but maybe we can go through the slide again. Okay. Well, no, no, no. You, you posted a slide on the GitHub, I think. Yeah. Okay. So ba basically, fix is uh, a type that allows you to uh, cut the, the recursion at the type level. Yeah. Because here we are using so option. Okay. So for example, uh, the number two will be represented as option of option of nothing, right. and the number one will be option of nothing. So you you cannot you cannot have one right. single type, you know that yeah, that uh, yeah. uh, references all these types. So you need a fix, and okay. fix is just the name of the, of the thing. Okay. We're not going to have to change any type signatures. Uh, no. Uh, uh, but there are type signatures that contains to do. Okay. So you have uh, later to find type signatures. But basically, the 90% of the exercises, the type signatures are, are there, and you only, only have to implement them. Like yeah, exactly. So a list could technically con the nil could be the same. Actually, not. No. No, because uh, in a list of a, you have multiple a's. You see, so we can say that option is the pattern for natural numbers, and it's an open question: what list is the pattern of? What is list the pattern of, do you think? <coughs> Not quite. Uh, actually, if you use list uh, as a pattern, you'll end up with a tree that has uh, multiple branches, indeterminate number of branches at each node. You see, because the A in your uh, pattern is where the recursion occurs. So option, there is a single point, and so you just wrap stuff inside options all the way down. 
But with, with lists, you have multiple. And so lists is the pattern of multiply branched trees. Um, and the tuple, the pair, is the pattern for lists. It will break your mind. Uh, 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 yeah, that's it. That's it, exactly. So you see, it's a new way of seeing about, uh, of thinking about things. And it can be a, a little troublesome at first. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Uh, so we have a piano. And a piano number is either zero or successor of a, a number. All right? And we have option. And an option in either, is either none or option of x. You see, it's the exact same structure. It's just different names. So if you want to encode uh, two, you'll have option of option of none. Right? So one, two, zero. It's successor of successor of zero. Yeah, the, the, the zero is known. But there, yeah, structure is everywhere, is, is everything. You don't put <coughs> anything uh, sensible inside your options. You only put options. And the type parameter is meaningless? And there, the type parameter is almost meaningless. That is, you see that this and, say, uh, that, they don't have the same type. Because this is option of option of the thing. And this is option of option of that, and so on. And so that's why you, you will need a fixed point if you want to be able to um, refer to this and that with a single type. But we will see that later. So maybe I should proceed on the uh, solution of how we count the layers. So basically, you. so algebra is a, a, a type alias that is defined in uh, the Matryoshka package. And it's just a type alias for uh, a function. I could have written this <coughs> okay it, it, it's exactly the same. see there okay. I need to write an algebra from piano number f to int. So it's basically a function of piano number f of int to int. So I can just write a pattern match in the case of none, because piano number f is just option. In the case of none, I return 0, of course. And that's here, it becomes interesting. Sorry, so it's sum of x. What is the type of this x here? Uh, sorry? No, you're, you're, you're still thinking too explicit recursively. Uh, can somebody tell me what this x is? What's its type? Uh, x. Uh, I hear piano number, it's wrong. Option, it's wrong. Int. It's an int. It's the result of applying the same algebra 
to, the the, to the, all the layers below. So all we need to do is to focus on what we need to do with this layer. And all we have to do is to return 1 plus x. OK? So everything has, be, has been taken care of before. We just have to, um, to add one layer. And that's the, the power of recursion schemes. We don't care about how we traverse the whole thing. We just assume it has been done, and we just process the current layer. Yeah? Because we are writing uh, an algebra from piano number f to int. So we are writing a function of piano number f of int to int, or if you prefer, from option of int to int. So we only care about one layer, and everything has been taken care of by the, the, the recursion schemes. OK? Once you understood that, you can go home. You've understood everything, almost. And so now we have our pattern factor. We have an algebra. All we need to do to transform a piano number into an int is to call the right uh, recursion scheme. In this case, it will be a fold, because we go from our structure to a simple value. And the simplest fold possible is kata. So we just need to need to write piano kata. Uh, on lists, uh, a fold is just a, is just a, a, a kata. A fold left, uh, it's a fold right. Kata is a fold right. Because you go to the bottom of your tree, and then you apply your algebra, so the, the second function you, you, you pass to, to fold, going, uh, going up. So kata is a fold left, a fold right. Fold left will be a hana. We'll see that on, yeah. But that's a, a really good question. Can you explain more what kata is? Sorry? Can you explain more what kata is? Yeah, I, I, maybe I went too, too quick on that. So kata is a, a, our first recursion scheme. It only takes an algebra. So you can uh, memorize that uh, like, the, like this. If it takes an algebra, it destroys it's, it's detro this yeah, it destroys. It destroys my structure, so it's a fold, right? And if I only have a simple algebra, like from f of a to, to a, I need kata. So kata will be, it's, we, we can look at the definition later if you want, but it's basically like a high-low, like we saw on the, on the diagram, but that does nothing while going down. It, go down, it goes down doing nothing, and then you get back up, applying your algebra, and so destroying the whole structure into uh, a simple one. So maybe one last thing together, and then you, you can go on with the next exercise. Uh, how can we define, uh, write, a, a piano number? So we said piano number is fixed of piano number f. So we will need to, to write something like that, fix of Option of six of option of studious fix of option of fix of none. No. And I miss a bunch of parentheses. 
And that almost works, but you'll see we have uh, some uh, red uh, squigglies there. Because since none is option of nothing, fix doesn't know that uh, it contains a fix of piano number. So we have to, for the leaves, when we write things like that with the, the fix, we need to precise that we are writing a fix of <coughs> piano number F. And then the compiler is happy because it, it knows that this is a fix of piano number F. So this is a piano number F of fix of piano number F. So this is a fix of piano number F and so on and so forth. Right? But this was just an example to, to show you uh, when, for example, when we, we want to write tests or uh, to write stuff in the, in the REPL, uh, it, it's a little bit tedious, but you can do it. It's not the same algebra. Uh, actually, in uh, literature, uh, these are called F algebras. And you can think about it like the algebra for a functor. A specific function. Uh, my mnemonic is algebra is about taking big expressions, which are recursive stuff, and do some operations, some simplifications, some uh, erasure, in order to come up with uh, a simple result. So it's basically from expression, f of a, to a result, hey. Basically. I, that's how I remember it. But you're right, it's not the same algebra like in uh, algebraic data, data type. It's not the same algebra like in uh, free monads. It's called F algebras. And um, it's almost the same thing, but one, le one level up in the category theory, you know, stack. Uh, it's algebra for, for a given functor. So who has finished the whole uh, zero dot produce? Mm -hmm. Three, four. Uh, you, you, you might go on with the, the, the next exercises, but we'll uh, need to, to do a little bit of explanations before the, the next part, after lunch, <coughs> I guess. So feel free to go on, but if you, you have questions, we might uh, need it to, to, to wait for the others. Uh, for the others, uh, we have 15 minutes before lunch, so I suggest we go through the solution together and answer your questions uh, as, uh, as they come. So uh, we now move on to a little slightly more interesting structure, which, which is the binary tree. So the first thing we need to do is to write our pattern functor. So as we said, we just take our uh, classical recursive type and we replace the uh, recursive reference to the type by a type parameter. So we have a tree f of a, and the node will be a branch f, makes sense, of a. It contains a label, which is an int. A left branch, which is which is what? A. a, of course. And a right branch, which is an A also. And this extends three uh, of A. And this is completely interesting. I will copy that. Uh, No, it's an A. Uh, it's yeah here the 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 left and this is one of the most difficult things to understand at first. But once you get that, everything will be will be easy. Here we we want an A. We don't want an, a tree F of A, which is instinctively what we should we would have done, right? In the classical thing, we have a tree, so in the 
recursion scheme thing, we might should need a tree f, but that's not the case. We really want this to be, hey, to be anything possible. Because we will need the fact that we can plug any type we want on these positions, right? If we constrain it to be tree f of a, uh, we won't be able to, 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 to write the, the remaining uh, algebras and co-algebras and, and so on. So it's really mechanical. Uh, when it, wherever you have a reference to tree in the classical definition, you replace with a and you're done. Question? Uh, you, you can do that, and we'll see we need to do that at some point, but you need to be able to do that. You, you won't yourself write uh, a tree f of string. That won't make sense. You, you, you won't need that. But you won't, you'll need to be able to write function from tree of a with any a to a. You see the, the difference? We're preparing the tree for any kind of computation. So you need to understand that every step of the recursion, when we were using a tree, we were basically limiting ourselves to the capacity of, at any given layer, only being able to, to have an instance of tree. So if you want to store intermediary results, you won't be able to change part of the tree be to, to them being the neat, for example. But when you're talking about uh, generalized uh, trees, you're mainly talking about what's inside the leaves. But this is different. You're not touching the leaves. You're not touching what it means uh, to represent this tree. You're only touching what it means to represent this tree in terms of recursion. You're only changing what's recursive to be able to handle any kind of computation you want. You want to output a double, it doesn't matter. You will have a pattern pointer with a tree f of double. Because at any given layer, you will assume in your algebra that previous layers are, all, are already dealt with. So left and right, if I want a double in the end, left and right, they are both double. But I need to consolidate. Is that clear? <coughs> when I first started writing the tree app classes, I initially had two type parameters so that I could not use an integer to label. Yeah. But then I thought, okay, well, wait, maybe things are defined for only one. So let me start with just int. Can we use two, or will that? Happen? Actually, you can. Uh, you you definitely can. Uh, so I would advise to put it in first because I'm some things later, but say that, and you can change it to piece. Okay. That's not a problem, but it's just had some complexity that is not relevant for uh, okay. the problem at hand. Okay. But yeah, you, you definitely can, can do the, these kind of things. But this type won't be used exactly for the recursion, right? Yeah, the, the, you, you can uh, abstract over the lab label type, the, the B, uh, and over the structure, structural type, the A. So the A will still be what gets replaced by uh, Matryoshka. The B is basically just to represent more generalized tree yeah. with any kind of leaf. But you, you, you can do that, definitely. OK, so I'm writing the, the functor for tree F. It's not really interesting. I suppose you, never, you, you didn't have any problem with that. Uh, so the leaf F of A becomes a leaf f of a and the interesting case the branch interestingly um, you could have I in the case when you uh, change the label type to whatever type you want you can be tempted to uh, write another functor instance to map over the labels And that might become a little bit tricky. You, you will have two, two ways to, to change your tree to a functor. <coughs> uh, that's 
still doable uh, and it's something you, you can need at some points, but it adds a little bit of complexity. Yeah, you also you you can also do that. Uh, we we could have said that our tree there uh, would be labeled by a T, and so we we would have a functor for that, and we could go back and forth uh, from tree to tree F to uh, manipulate the trees, so change the structure, or manipulate the labels. Uh, so it doesn't change it to the structure with the, our two functors. That, that, that could be a, a, a solution. But we'll, we'll see later that um, you, know, you are not forced to have the non-pattern functor uh, data type. I mean, if, yeah, that's if you're uh, working... Don't spoil. I'm not spoiling. <laughs> if you're working with data that is, not, uh, that is more in your circles, is more under your control, then you can stick with just the pattern front of form and not be and not be uh, having any use for the non-pattern front of with the ADT itself. You're mm. not it's not particularly useful to have the tree of tree of tree if only the only things that you want to manipulate are within your code base and just uh, using the pattern front of. Because anything that you can write with the ADT, you can write also with the pattern front of. You may have to use a fixed point to have a proper uh, type inference, but you can use that. The term you're using pattern functor mm -hmm. is the functor over the tree. Over the uh, tree, tree F or? is the pattern functor. It's the functor that gives you the structure of your recursive structure. Do you know the color type class? Uh, functor is the type class. And what we are doing right now it is providing an, in, an instance of this type class for the type 3F. And we, uh, by a, an abuse of language, we say that 3F is a functor, but we should say it has an instance for the type class functor. And this, ins this instance we are writing right now. Uh, we have written just, uh, just before. 3F itself is not a type class. It doesn't define any behavior. It has a functor, but it's not a uh, behavior. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure. Well, we, we can get back on type class later if you want, because it, it's it's important. So um, this is the most important thing. So branch. So this is the, the tricky thing. What are the, ty the types in this case? What are the types of L and R? A, a list. It is tree. We are writing an algebra from tree F to tree, which is an alias for a function of from tree F of tree to tree. That means that this branch f is a branch f of tree, which means that its left and right branches are already trees. We've already uh, applied the algebra on the nodes below, and what we get back is, you know, a, um, an halfway destroyed tree. We have started destroying it, uh, an halfway destroyed tree f. We've started destroying it, and now we are to the point where we have destroyed everything below, and we just need to destroy that level. And that's the trickiest, trickiest thing to understand with recursion schemes. But that's the true power of the, of the, the ID, because you only have to care about one layer, and everything else is taken care of by the, the CADA function. And so it's really easy, once you get that, you just don't have to, to think about it. You just need to write a branch with a label and the left and right branches, which, has, which are already trees. So it's easy peasy. <coughs> and
And the same goes for the coalgebra, but the other way around. So if we have an empty, we just need to issue an MTF, which is logical. If we have a leaf, we just issue a leaf F. And if we have a branch, here we are in a coalgebra. So this is a function from tree to tree F of tree. So we only need to build up one layer and leave the thing half baked. You see, it will be finished by the scheme itself, by the ANA. So branch. We're not taking care of transforming L and R. Because oh, we sorry, are branch F. That the rest of the process will take care of the additional layer. If we were to uh, not limit ourselves, we would be calling the recursion ourselves. So when we write an algebra, we can assume, assume that everything has already been taken care of for us before that. And when we write a coalgebra, we can assume that everything will be taken care of for us by the, by the, the scheme. All right? So it's really you know, liberating. I only care about my little level. And everything else will be done by this uh, these schemes. Yeah. Ever, never, ever, ever, never. 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 Your intermediary result, in this case three. But if you try to go the extra mile and transform additionally the other layers, with algebra you're mostly not tempted to do that because you're not at the on, at the right place to do it. But with coalgebra it can be tempting, you see, to understand that L and R are also three, and that you could be building once again the branch F or the uh, relaunch the uh, pattern matching yourself. But in this case, you're basically... It's not a good idea. Yeah. Don't you're do not that. Leveraging so uh, these algebra and coalgebra are really not interesting. It just goes from our non-recursive uh, tree to our uh, recursion scheme in algebra 3F, back and forth. It We'll see why it's still useful to, to write this kind of algebras, but it's basically to be able to do this strange thing, be a recursive from algebra ISO. We'll see that what this is useful for. But before lunch, I'd like, to, um, I'd like us to write these two interesting algebra and coalgebras. So we assume that our tree are uh, binary search trees. So the label of a node is superior to all the labels in its left branch and inferior to uh, and less, uh, less, than, less than or equal to uh, all the labels in the right, right branch, sub, in the right subtree. Okay? And so we want to write an algebra that transforms a tree F into a list of ints. So it's always the, the same thing. We just write a pattern matching. In the case of MTF, suppose we return nil. Okay, we are in a we are writing a function of, from tree f of list of ints to list of ints. Okay, so we return an empty list of ints. If we have a leaf with an int we return a singleton list, okay? Still obvious so far, yeah? And if we have a branch, 
with an int, a, le a left and a right, which has, which are, left and right in this case, are list of ints. So all we need to do is do something like that. L plus plus right because uh, it says in the in the comment we want to uh, produce uh, other lists and we assume that our tree are binary trees so the smaller ones are in the left in the middle it's <coughs> my current label and the biggest one bigger ones are in the right so we just have to concatenate the left myself and right okay so this is simple the core algebra shouldn't be that much difficult. Uh, here we want to uh, take a list of ints and produce a binary tree for that list. So what we can do is uh, divide our problem in separate uh, cases depending on the size of the list. If we, ha we have an empty list, we return an empty tree. If we have a singleton list, <coughs> we return a leaf. And if we have something else, We can say, OK, uh, I'll take the head, and then I will split the tail depending on uh, elements are bigger or smaller than the head. So this is done with the partition function. Right? Everybody is familiar with the partition function. It returns a tuple of lists. Uh, the left one is the element of the original list that satisfy the predicate. And the right one is the element that doesn't satisfy the predicate. So now I have partitioned my tail uh, depending on elements are bigger or smaller than the head. And so I can now, I have all the elements Oh, sorry. Needed to uh, produce a branch. It will be head, lesser, and greater. And it compiles. And so before we go to lunch, can somebody tell me what we just did? I mean, when we use that hilo, there, with our algebra and co-algebra. Merge sort. Merge sort. Merge sort. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's quick sort, actually. It's quick sort. So this should be the mind-blowing stuff of the day. Uh, uh, a quick sort is just an isomorphism with two very simple algebras. To list and from list well, would be uh, respectively uh, called uh, split and uh, merge and split in a, a typical quicksort implementation. So you see, we were able to replace an explicitly recursive algorithm. When you write a quicksort, there is a, a, a recursive call to quicksort without explicit recursion by just choosing the right pattern, the binary tree and writing an algebra and a co-algebra. And it's, this will be uh, the challenge for using a recursion scheme. It will be always the, 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 the same problem. You need to find the right pattern for your problem and write and find the right carrier for your algebras and co-algebras. And then everything, once you, you've, you've found the right types, you see it's really easy to, to come up with the implementations all the difficulties will, will be to find the right types. All right? So 
How is it going so far? Cool? So I think we, we deserve a, a good lunch. So see you there in uh, one hour.